How you doing, sir? What's going on, my man? What's going on? So, the, the bottom... My name's Paul. This is Brendan. Ernest, nice to meet you. How are you? Um, yeah, so the, the bottom zone for here, like, the, the unit just doesn't cool the space. Like, how, many air, how many air conditioning systems do you have? So, there are three units right over there. Three condensers. And then four zones. So, you have three air handlers and one of them has two zones. I'm not sure. I think one of them they did. So the previous owner of this house, like, was an AC, like, owned an AC company. Yeah. So I think there's some funky stuff. No, no it's probably. Yeah. So you have three air handlers, three condensers, and one of those air handlers has a, a zone on it, which is giving you the fourth zone. Yeah. That's yeah. that's normal. It's not funky. So what? Yeah. Which one's not working out of these three? I don't know which one maps to which one, so I have them all off. So I can go turn on the one that's problematic, and then. And then we'll be able to single it out. Turns on AM. Yeah, that's. Um, but hold on. So the inside fan is running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So have, the have you checked fan. your filter? Uh, no. Okay. I have not, but like barely any air. There's like two vents that come out and like barely anything comes out. Let's go in. Can we go in and check yeah. the filter too? Yeah. And then like, it, it won't work. And then at like two in the morning, it'll like wake up and then like start cooling like progressively. It's, it's kind of... Unbreakable. What do you mean it won't work? Like I'll, I'll set it for, I'll set it for like... 65. Okay. And then it'll do nothing. Yep. And then, uh, like, at, like, like, 2 in the morning, then it'll, like, start, you know, like, cooling and whatever. Okay. But it's not, like, so this is the one that controls it. Yeah. And then this is one vent, and then the other vent is inside the inside the room. Where's the air handler? Uh, so I think the air handler is inside. Here? Here, yeah. And then all the rest of the, the AC equipment is up in the in the attic these are like painted shut so where's your filter uh i have no idea i just moved in oh or, yeah, yeah so or like I here's your filter yeah. and it's just the easy flow that's not going to be a problem okay so that's that's not dirty okay so let's get this let's start this up if yeah. you don't mind yeah, yeah. bring it down to 65 degrees okay so that one's and now we're going to go see which condenser kicks on. Sure. And you have that on cooling 65? Uh, on cooling 99 which is r438a i hope it's not that one because i don't have refrigerant for that with me okay nothing's turned on yet this one both heat and cool. yep not all the others do but this one does yeah because this system Probably just have that electric backup heat. No, no, the, the heat on this floor is uh, hydronic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's radiant? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this. It says cool. Yeah, but it's not, it's not blinking. It's not calling for Well, no, it doesn't have to be blinking to be calling for cool. It should be. It shouldn't be blinking when it's calling for cool. Oh. So, it should blink when it when it's in when it's in delay. But let me see. Hold on. Select. Cool. On. Select. On fan. Honestly, I hate these thermostats. Auto. Yeah, this is a fun one. This looks like a proprietary thermostat. Okay, right now I have it on cool. Yeah. 62. So now let's give it five minutes yeah. to start the uh, 
condenser outside. I believe it's gonna be that condenser that's all the way to the left yeah. because the line set for the other two go upstairs. That would make sense. Yeah. They, there's two air handlers upstairs? At least, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay, so let's, uh, 71 and 63.9. All right, let's go outside and check the condenser. almost empty um, let me go give them some options you're low on refrigerant you could do nothing you can it's R22 okay it's an old system you could do nothing which isn't why you called me you can add refrigerant with no warranty uh -huh. hope that it doesn't leak out uh -huh. it's expensive it's 350 for the first pound, 200 for each additional pound. How many pounds? I have to look on the data plate. I can't see it taking more than four or five pounds. Okay. Um, you can do a leak search, uh -huh. plus the cost of the refrigerant, uh -huh. which I don't recommend because it's such an old system. Uh -huh. Or you can get a, quote, a free quote before you do anything uh -huh. to see how much it is to replace. I got a, so I got a question for, for replacement. Absolutely. So I'm building, like, I'm massively expanding the garage. Okay. I was going to call you guys to do oh. A-Track. Okay. So what, new ductwork, everything cut in type yeah, stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a whole new uh, addition. Okay. Like an addition. Gotcha. Like 1100 square Understood. Years. So if I replace that unit, can I get a unit that will serve that zone and the garage? Depends on how it's built. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't have the CADs. Like, do you have the, the blueprints or the CADs? No, I was going to literally call you guys and say, like... No, as far as the structure. structure being, yeah, yeah. That's uh, what I mean. So, no, 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 without no. seeing that, yeah. I can't tell you because you would have to... If the ductwork is able to connect, then, yeah, you could zone it. Yeah. I mean, right now, there's no ductwork. I was going to give you, like, a blank slate and be like... That's what I'm saying. So, I, ca I can't yeah. say yes unless... Yeah. But you're saying it's possible. It's possible as long as the it lines up to the house and the ductwork's able to extend into the basement that's it, to the existing ductwork because then what you would do is um, zone the system. But yeah. you would have to put a new system in because the system that's already existing is too small for a whole new 1,100 yeah. square yeah. feet. All right. All right, so then that, that's, that's overcomplicated. All right, so, so the options are... The options are basically refrigerant, leak search... Refrigerant with a sealant, yeah. leak search, uh -huh. and then refrigerant, uh -huh. which now you're talking about $2,000, uh -huh. or get a quote and re on a replacement, yeah. which were a couple days out for the salesman to come out, uh -huh. and um, and then make your decision then. It's up to you. Uh... I mean, I could...
What did we have before when we got here? 63 or something? Yeah, 63.9. Temperature, so you have a, your 20 degree split. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, that system was low. He's getting it replaced by our company, I guess, in a couple of weeks, but we're so backed up. Um, he needed me to add refrigerant because, and I advised him, there's seriously no guarantee because it was as low as it was. Uh, but I advised him, um, he advised me that he was having family over this weekend, so. He needed to have it. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees. Um, uh, he needed to have it cooling. So he's got three systems in the house, but he's up and running. I, I just, I'm just not a big fan of uh, adding R22 without doing some kind of leak search or, I mean, just because of the cost to the customer. I mean, I don't, I, it's not my decision. It's up to the customer always, but... But anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and enjoy your day. Take care.